The reason I want to get into this field is trying to help patients. Even we can see there's a lot of cancers in patients' body, uh, there's still no efficient way to really target it. I want to get involved in developing new technology to do the target strike. We actually have a, something called, we call the radiopharmaceutical or radio pharma, uh, radioactive drugs. You can consider this molecule, molecule is a drone designed looking for a specific disease. Take prostate cancer, for example, we identify their specific target marker to prostate cancer in patients' body, so we engineer these drones to only looking for these kind of markers. And then we inject these drones into patients' body, it will circulate all over the body looking for prostate cancer. Once, once they find this target, they will start binding to it and start sending out a signal. And at this moment, we'll put patients under a PET scanner, PET, or positron emission tomography, we'll know exactly where the tumors are, how many are there, and what kind of tumor is that. The next step is once we identify a tumor and we know how many targets are there, then we can decide what's the best way to treat these patients. If this is a metastatic cancer, or we call it end-stage cancer, meaning the cancer starts spread out to over the body, there's hundreds of targets over there, then we use a, something we call the molecular targeted radiation therapy. We send the same drones in with the same target, but this time we swap the diagnostic isotope into a therapeutic isotope, meaning we swap the camera with a bump. And this time the drone coming into patient's body, circulated over the body. Once they find prostate cancer, it will bind to it and start burning the tumor out, non-stop 24-7 for six weeks. And using this method, it will allow us to de deliver over 50 times um, more radiation dose compared to conventional radiation therapy, but without hurting surrounding tissue. And the reason it won't hurt the surrounding tissues, meaning we will, not, we will not cause any side effect, is because this kind of isotope we choose to use will only burn everything uh, within two millimeters of the target. This is the outpatient procedures. So patient will maybe only stay here for about four to six hours. Using molecular imaging, also it will have a strong impact to neurological related disease like Alzheimer and Parkinson, those dementia related disease, to catch a disease earlier and guide the doctors to make the right treatment. And also, like it will have a strong impact to mental health related disease like depression, PTSD, or CTE. On top of that, is uh, we are going to use this technology to impact the pediatric patients. And the scanner we're going to bring in over here will significantly decrease the dose need needed to inject into the patients, but also can actually uh, significantly shorten the scanning time from 40 minutes theoretically to one minute. So we don't need to sedate the kids anymore. With a way significant less radiation dose, without the need of doing sedation, we're going to open a brand new field to, uh, to apply this cutting-edge technology to pediatric oncology, neurology, and cardiology.